Hi everybody. It is 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, December 8. I feel I need to record Man's Hand in this storm that many are being greatly influ uh, greatly inconvenienced. Uh, some car damage in Houston. But look at this, please. Um, Everybody should just be able to look at this and know that this is not this is not how Mother Nature creates snow or any kind of precipitation. This is up here in Kentucky from extremely low frequencies being set off in Tennessee. Uh, very clear, very obvious how uh, well defined is this snowstorm in Kentucky. And of course you have the extremely low frequencies all over. You also have um, had a meteorologist explain this. I, I think they just ignore it. A scalar square. A scalar square which happens when two scalar waves interact or meet and where they meet there's actually a, um, let me see, do I have it? Oh boy, did I jump off it? I guess I did. Sorry, here, creating energy at a distance. So these two scalar beams interact and they create what is referred to as an energy bottle, a vector energy zone. And what can happen when you see these squares? Well, you can face tornadoes or storms. Uh, they don't have to occur immediately. Uh, they can occur within 48 hours. How this can create weather. Well, they certainly are using uh, scalar waves, extremely low frequency. Uh, it's all over this storm and well, either people are going to face reality or not. But you can see these extremely low frequencies and they're uh, crossing one another, but coming out of Tennessee and coming out of uh, Spartanburg, upstate South Carolina. You got Columbia. Woof, boy, this thing is so energized um, with man controlling it. Look at all the microwaves, all of these ripples, and extremely low frequencies coming out of North Carolina. This Everybody should be sending this to their local meteorologist and asking them to explain this. Now we know what they do. We know what this is. We know that this is a manufactured storm, but it would be interesting to find out what these meteorologists, how they could possibly explain what you are seeing right here. Look at this. It's so obvious. Oh boy. And it should be obvious to anybody, any ordinary um, human being that simply understands that Mother Nature does not work, you know, with uh, a ruler and then a, a sharp, very sharp knife to cut out sections and make right angles of precipitation. She just doesn't do that. But all of the energy, all of the microwaves, all of the extremely low frequencies. Boy, I've never seen, I have never seen the use of so many different frequencies. Extremely low frequencies, scalar waves, got microwaves, um, the high frequency heating, And please, 
as I said last night, if you could let me know what is happening in your area, I've I've tried to find out what is going on and I have found very little information except for Houston and they got I don't know um, they, they, they were flooded out people were abandoning their cars car the water right up to the roof of the cars uh, Lubbock Texas got eight inches of snow but here you have another energy bottle right here Arkansas and if anybody wants to do the research go on Google Earth and right where these squares are showing up go on down to see if there is a radio frequency transmitter. I will also uh, link below to Dutch census video here, weather modification caught, scale or square. And he did do uh, the digging and found a, let me see if I can, he found a radio here. So right underneath that square that you see on radar was this um, transmitting uh, um, radio frequency transmitter. Sorry, I'm really having trouble. But here, this, this meteorologist in, in North Carolina, is this the guy that I showed in the video yesterday. Let me see. The last few thousand feet, it's cold up high. It's relatively mild down at the ground. And in the middle, we are seeing temperatures fluctuate. And that's why we've gone back and forth between snow and sleet in Gastonia, sleet and rain in Sh Is this the same guy? I can't tell. That guy had such a beer belly um, yesterday. So anyway, can you look? <laughs> All right. This guy is just ignoring what is right smack on radar all of these frequencies being transmitted and they use this to not only you know create weather but to steer storms to keep them from going up north to uh, modify to intensify oh there's an awful lot that they can do so um, those two squares that I showed you were not the only squares that I found here uh, more squares, Union City, and I also had, sorry, I know that this is really small, but this was the capture that I got earlier today, which was another scalar uh, square over here, and I caught three more. So they really are here again. That's two crossing of beams in a very short period of time. Uh, lost it. I don't want to... Here. Okay, here is that one. Two. Ah. You're going to have to trust me that they were using a lot of scalar waves in this storm. All right. Um. Look at here. I've never seen this on the Mimic map. And this is in the Gulf. Do you see these extremely low? I've never seen uh, these extremely low frequencies in the Mimic map. 
One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, wow, does this thing, it is so heavily powered. Right there. Well, it just so happens to be right in the area where you have a lot of heating going on in this region, in this gulf. The region in the Gulf of Mexico. It is pretty much exact to that spot where you see the extremely low frequencies right here. Extending out radiating fan-like pattern and here you have the heating in the same area well what are we gonna do Drivers abandon vehicles as heavy rain floods some Houston streets. The powerful storm system dumped nearly a half foot of rain late Friday night. Um, and is it Lubuck, 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 Texas? Lubuck. Texas. Lots and lots of snow. Ten inches. Ten inches of snow. Uh, heavy rains hammered Houston. Roads and highways turned into fast moving streams as sewers backed up and overflowed. First responders used a high water rescue truck to help these drivers after they stalled on a flooded city street. This is Lubuck. I'm sorry. I I'm tired, and uh, when I get tired, I'm, yes, well, I think you're hearing it. Um, lots of flights canceled, 809 cancellations, and 10,195 flight delays reported. Um, this is very upsetting. In Houston, the Harris County Flood Control District, major flooding is expected. Your rivers and streams are flooding, so you may get more flooding. Uh, this was posted, I don't know, well now, probably 45 minutes ago. Flooding is expected to impact the uh, Bellu Woods, Forest Cove, North Shore, and Riverside Crest subdivisions. The elevated structures in these areas could be cut off for several days. The river is expected to rise to threshold levels by Saturday afternoon and reach its peak crest Monday evening. It is forecasted to remain above flood stage into Wednesday, and officials have said residents may be cut off for four or five days. Well, what can we do? I mean, I, when we have an awful lot of our fellow Americans just refusing to, their minds are just closed and they won't. I guess they just won't let in that, yeah, man is controlling all of these storms. Anyway, I just wanted to document this. It's really, truly unbelievable. This I've never seen before. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Boom. The scalar squares, I don't know if I mentioned this, I should have. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, that That is a signature of high frequency heating of a region. Superheated right south of Boone. Superheated regions. And well, here is Union City. It's come back. Right there. Another superheated region. And you can see the extremely low frequencies that come right after it jutting out right here and right here. And all of the extremely low frequencies whoo, just fanning out all over it and the microwaves are rippling all over. And you also have at the tail end the extremely low frequencies right at the periphery right here. Yep. Like no other storm that I've seen with this amount of radio um, waves going through it. So I hope everybody is okay and I hope that um, Everybody will remain okay. There you go. The high frequency heating. Wow! And I just got an incredibly loud, incredibly loud, high pitched tone in my right ear with a hissing sound. Stay safe, everybody. And just prepare, prepare, prepare. Microwaves. Ciao, guys.